Stampers, this is Travis. Welcome to a Video Tuesday. And so today for our Gratitude Day video, we are going to be continuing with our album. Okay, mine is called a Gratitude Album. Yours can be anything you want. It can be a recipe book. It can be um, just a scrapbook of whatever you'd like. So um, mine is going, today I'm going to do a page uh, with the sleeves and I'm going to do um, some photographs, and I'm also going to do use some stamps and a punch from the mini catalog. So the kit is available to purchase, okay? The kit includes the album, okay? So you get the album, okay? And then um, it also includes the letters, uh, whatever you want to say on the, on the front or this, well, there's not a lot of room, but the spine of your of your album, I would I would cut those out for you with a die. So if you wanted to put your name or if you wanted to put gratitude or recipes or whatever you want to put on there, um, you I would cut that out for you in any color that you, you like. So your album will be black, not red. So your spine will be black. So a lot of colors would go with that. Um, the kit also includes a pack of the sleeves. It includes a pack of of masks, any masks that you choose. It includes a pack of the memories and more cards. Any one that you choose includes a uh, bottle of glue and a black marker. So all that being said, it's um, it's a pretty good deal. You get free shipping uh, on your order, and if you want to pick it up at my at my house, at my door, whatever, there is no extra shipping. If you want it shipped to your house, it would be, you know. Nine ninety five or whatever, ten dollars, whatever the extra shipping would be to mail it to you. But the shipping from Stampin' Up is free. Okay, so today we are going to be using the Love for You stamp set and dies, and I'm going to be using a punch from the mini catalog called Happy Labels Pick a Punch. So this is the punch I'm going to use today. So let's get started and see how this goes. Okay, so. This stamp set has 20 stamps in it, and I love it the way it is, but this is all one stamp, so much love, and then For You is all one stamp, and I've seen people cut these apart. This is an easy cut apart because it's photopolymer, and so I'm going to cut my stamp set apart, and I think I will use it more once it's cut apart, so I just take your, these are old craft and rubber scissors, but if you just take your scissors and trim this, okay, it's kind of scary at first because you're like, ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to cut this apart. It's all good. So I'm just going to cut this. And I'm going to show you the word I'm going to use today. And if you don't have craft and rubber scissors, do use some kind of scissors that are very sharp. Okay, so there's love. And then I'm gonna cut so. Now you can still put these together, right? And use so much love together. But now you have three separate words. Okay, so much love. And then for you, I'm also gonna cut that apart. That's a really easy one. Okay, so for you is now two stamps. So instead of 20 stamps, you now have 23 stamps. <laughs> okay, so let's, um, and then the dies that coordinate with it, love for you dies. There's um, actually um, 14 dies in here. And I really, for some reason, I really head towards the dies that have words, cut out words, and I'm going to use love today. Okay, so... Those are the dies I'm going to use. That die for sure. I might use another die, but for that, for sure. Because you know when I do my Gratitude Day videos, um, it can go anywhere, right? <laughs> Starts out one thing and ends up with something completely different. It's a part of scrapbooking that's really fun. Um, you know, you just kind of wing it and it make it your own. So the sleeve I'm going to use today is this one. These are all six by eight sleeves. So this is a three by four. So I have two three by fours and one four by six. So the memories and more cards are designed to coordinate. Okay, so they don't only have these stickers, but they also have the cards. And so the card I picked today 
is this card. I like this side, but I really like this side. So I'm gonna use this card. And then I'm going to use this card. And then I'm gonna use a photograph on this one. So with this one, I'm just gonna slide this in, super easy. Okay, so there's one, one already put in. And then this one is gonna have some, some things on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut out my love and I'm gonna put some sticker paper on some, um, on some Daffodil Delight cardstock. So I'm just gonna place this on here. And then I'm going to cut out love. And I'm gonna bring my, actually I'm just gonna leave my, my peewee, my small cut and emboss over here and just cut it out. So I have some people who are telling me that they aren't in love with the mini cut and emboss. I am, but it's, everybody's different. So I'm just gonna use my take your pick tool to poke this out. Look at that, how cute is that? Poke those little letters out. All right, so I have love. Super cute. I was gonna stamp love and cut it out, but I kind of like the, the small love, the, the thin thinness of it. Okay, so cut that out. Now, what I want to do is I want to look at my photographs. So I have this photograph of my grandsons, two of my grandsons. And I think what I'm going to do with this is I am just going to cut around it really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to kind of fussy cut his, uh, his clothes out first. And... Um, and then be very careful so I don't cut any parts his ear off. <laughs> so I am cutting it pretty tight around their faces. I just love scrapbooking, so I've been doing a lot of scrapbooking lately. Um, it's hard to pull myself away from card making, but I find that... Um, if I don't scrapbook, okay, so I just keep printing pictures and or keep them on my phone. And I, before you know it, I've forgotten a lot of the details about the, about the actual event. So this is why I am trying to keep up on my scrapbooking now is so that I have more current I'm not going to cut out his the clothes on this side because I'm actually going to lay this on here and cut this out flat. Okay, I'm going to show you. So what I'm going to do now is just put some glue on here. I don't want to go too crazy. Too crazy. And I'm going to bring my silicone mat over. And now I'm just gonna lay the photograph. I don't want the glue to get on my paper, so I'm gonna use my silicone mat to collect the extra glue. Okay, so the most important part of the picture obviously is them, not the rest of the items. So I'm gonna glue that down. There's a lot of yellow in here. And so, I don't know, here it is. I, I kind of chose yellow as my, and there's a lot of yellow in this, in this card also. So I chose yellow as my main color here. Okay, so now I'm gonna lift this up, all the glue's on there. Now all the glue is gonna be on my scissors, which is fine. I can clean that off. Actually, there isn't any glue on the scissors, which is really bizarre. Okay, so now I have the cuteness of that going on. So now I wanna add some different things on here to scrapbook over here about, about what's going on. So the cool thing about these um, Memories and More cards 
is that you have these pull-offs and you also have um, words. Well, I don't really need a word, right? Because I already have love. I don't really go, want to go too crazy with the words. But they all coordinate. So the colors coordinate. So using this card helps me to keep color coordination really going well. And what I want to do now is um, I do want to use this punch. This is the Happy Labels Pick a Punch. And I do want to um, do a little bit of... Um, a little bit of journaling so because this was if I can remember right see that's why you have to do this right away um, this was a day when um, they were here in my house and um, pretty young here I don't actually have the date on here but pretty young so I'm just gonna take a piece of white cardstock and so the pick a punch is awesome. There's um, three different sizes that you can you can punch. So once you have your strip of paper, you can actually um, make different edges. So I'm going to make this um, an inch. Okay, so I'm going to start with an inch piece of cardstock, and I'm going to put this in. So let's talk about this. So you put it in like that, right? But you need to turn it over and you need to look at it. Okay? Well, first of all, open your punch. There you go. Put it in. This is a ticket one, and they're both tickets, but I love this one. So I'm going to slide it in. Okay, and then flip it over, and then you can see the edge of it. And when you punch it, going to make that cute ticket. Okay. So I'm thinking, ooh, this is going to be really cute if I do two of those. Okay. So saw not a lot of that cut away, right? So I'm going to put this back in. I love this punch. Love, love, love it. Okay. So now I have a ticket. And you can make this any size you want, right? You can make it narrower. You can make it longer. Okay, so I'm going to journal on there. But for now, I'm just going to do a little overlapping. And then I'm going to go on here and I'm going to pull up some of these cute stickers. So what I want to do next is I'm just going to glue this down. Oh, let's talk about this. So my adhesive was empty. And I'm like, let's talk about loading your adhesive. So I have my stamp and seal refill. And I'll show you how easy it is to load. So you pick the one that has the little, the little hole, the little um, posts sticking up. I'm not going the right way. And there we go. Press down. Poof. Done. So now add my adhesive. That. Now I'm going to peel this off because I did do that um, adhesive sheet on the back. So I'm just going to peel this off the backing. My fingernails, not the best shape. And this is really narrow and thin, so I'm having a hard time getting it started. But it's still going to be better in the end than putting glue on it, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Once you get it started, it just peels right off. Okay. So now it's sticky. So I think I'm going to put it right here. I think I'll put it right here. Okay. Then I love this little camera. It says picture proof. And if you don't want the proof, picture proof on there, you can just snip that off and just have the little camera. But I think it's really cute the way it is. So I think I'll put that up here. And then... What other little stickers do I have? I have Celebrate. Well, best friend, that wouldn't really be appropriate. Uh, celebrate Memories. Ooh. Celebrate Memories. Yes. Put that on there. Looking cute. Maybe one more. And I'm thinking this. I'm going to pull in a little of this. And now I could put this on this way. I think I will, actually. I was going to put it sideways. 
So that's what's fun about these is that they're sticky. They're already sticky, right? And you can just get creative with them. Okay, so now, now is where I will just journal a little bit about this picture, talk about them, uh, where, where we were, which I think we were here at my house, but talk about it here, try to put the date. I may have to look on my phone to find that photo so I can put the date, okay? So this one might need a little bling, okay? So I have my bling here from the mini catalog. And I think... Oh, these are really cute. How about some gold sequins? Hmm, do I want those? I have my, these are the, um, which ones are these? Enamel Dot Essentials. I also have my adhesive. I haven't used these yet. I love these. These are called Adhesive Back Milky Dots. Yeah, I think I'm going to use these. Adhesive Back Milky Dots. Put a few of these on. Okay, so I'm just going to, which color? I think the only color I think will work is this one. Two sizes. Okay, so I'll do a small and a large and then another small. Okay, so I have some, I have some embellishments on there now. And that card is finished. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide that in. Well, I'll journal later. Okay. And then I have this photograph. And this photograph is, we were at Freddy's and he was going crazy on this little malt. Um, and so I'm going to cut this down to a three by four so that I can slide it into my pocket. So what I do first is I don't obviously want to cut off too much off the top because I don't have a lot of extra space going on, right? And then I'm going to cut four inches. And then I want the three, three. So I'm going to kind of look here and eyeball this. And I think I'm going to go about right here. And then three inches. I love this paper trimmer. I just had um, one of my customers ask me what I think of my paper trimmer, and I love it. Um, the blade is phenomenal. You won't have to, to um, change the blade that often. Okay, this is from <laughs> December 8th of 18. I do try to put the date on the back. And I thought this little card from the um, Memories and More was appropriate. Life is short, up to you, make it sweet. Sweet, okay? So um, I could put some more embellishments on here, which I may, when I, before I make the picture, take a photograph of it and put it on, on the uh, website. But I hope you enjoyed this today. Um, go for it. Make your, um, make your little album. Do something fun. Uh, make some memories uh, last. So hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you on Friday for another card. My name's Travis Bossler, Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in St. Louis, Missouri. And I appreciate it if you would like and share this video. Thank you. Bye.